a nightmare only a plumber can endure. Sometimes I'm wondering when I'm taking this apart why I'm even doing it. Because thinking I'm never going to be able to repair this, am I? So stick around and let's see what's happening. Right, first of all, none of the grub screws are tight, so we're getting off to a really flyery start here. Going to cut the silicon round the shower valve, which was pumped to the max in it. I'm going to pop. I was lucky there because that actual ring there that was supporting that was unscrewing the cartridge at the same time. So if I just kept spinning that, it would have blown off and flooded the place. Anyways, so here we go. We're getting the cartridge undone now. Now all we need to do is start taking them off. So first of all, get the water off. And see when you see stuff like this, you're like, ah, holy crap, what am I involved in? So I see we stopcock there. And it's on the second floor, this stopcock for the whole house. So I was like, well, why is this? Because how often do you see a two-story house with a stopcock on the second floor? The answer's never. So the plan for this actually was to cut the wall at the back and replace the shower valve. But when I got to it and I stripped the faceplate and everything off, it's on a big massive bit of OSB. So I can't even access the fittings. So it would mean tiles off. But luckily there's a place in Edinburgh called the Shower Doctor. So he was my saving grace. It's not very often that he would actually have the parts in or they would maybe have them in. Um, but a delivery or an XA delivery is probably your best bet. Or if he can't actually find the brand of the shower, you're going to be searching forever. So we're going to crack on and start taking this to bits because I need to take these out to take them to the shower doctor. If I don't take them to the shower doctor, he's just going to be like, well, how am I meant to know what fits the valves? And yeah, while you're watching this, I am struggling to get this off. It's awkward, it's like a crap angle, and my shifter can't get on it. Actually, I've just lied to you. My shifter can get on it. It's just outside the shower area. So I'm going to faff about with my grips and take twice as long as what a shifter would have got me through it. Silly bugger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly crack the cartridge and leave it open so the water drips out the leg. Because it'll not be the first time I've fully pulled the cartridge out and thought, why did I just do that? Because it's been on a different pumped system and it's blown everywhere. And they're just some of the harsh life lessons you learn as a plumber because it makes you a better one. Because it actually gets you prepared. Alright, so that's the cartridge finally out. What happens is... This has actually gotten stiff and it can't mix. But in the top cartridge, it stopped mixing completely. And it's not, it's overloading. It's either too hot or it's too cold. So again, we're going to go into this cartridge here. A nice awkward one. But I managed to get that one off. Pretty simple. You feel that? You see, you're struggling and it gives you a little kick. That gets you right into it. Going to give you a wee leak le le look, look into the valve. It's pretty manky in there. I'm going to take this one off. And then we're going to get ourselves on our way to the shower doctor to see if he can save the day. And we've arrived and it's Sight Hill, I think this is. Nice little wee showroom they've got for all their shower bobs. Now, these can basically find and identify near enough any shower that you've got a problem with. So, give these guys a shout because they dug me out a massive hole. Look at this. The wife behind the counter has come up with their bloody goods. I could not believe it. So, they've got retrofit system now for these valves. So, there you can see the two old valves sitting together there. And I'm going to start piecing this together now. And it's always important, I would definitely recommend reading the instructions with the spares. They send you the spares because what you're doing is adapting onto a newer, an older system but with newer bits. So there's some things will change or that will have to be set, set a certain way. Always make sure to lube up your washers before you slide them in. It helps dramatically. Now out of both the cartridges, this, this one here, the bottom one, was the one I was concerned about most. Because the last cartridge had a thread on it. Like that would screw into that where I'm pushing it. 
So I was like, how is this going to work? It's just held on with O-rings and it can just pop off. Now, when anything's got O-rings, lube is your best friend by all means. Now, when I was putting this in, as I said, I was like, how is this actually working? How is this going to be suited? I actually managed to pop it in, no problem. But then it says, put, when I read it, it was like, where did I put a grub screw? That's actually got a little grub screw attachment right at the bottom of it. That they supply you with a new grub screw, which is very, very good practice. And see, this is me like, how, the, how on earth is this going to work? So, as one says, read the bloody instructions. So as I see right under the bottom there, it lines up. So there's two holes, and on the instructions it's specific. It says make sure you line the grub screw up with the smaller hole, not the larger hole. Which I lined it up with the larger hole because I didn't read the bloody instructions. So this is just a life lesson. You read the instructions and stop thinking that you know everything. So I don't flood like four flats. I've asked the customer hey, to go into the shower area and just give me a shower if anything starts Ooh. spraying water everywhere. As you say, this would be really daunting for an apprentice working on this job. Like, whoa, what the hell do I do? Look at that main, not even clipped. Imagine somebody kicks that or rips that off or does whatever. So I just turn the water on very, very slowly. Don't want to just hammer it right on and it blows the plastic out of something or blows another fitting. So that was all good. First try, can't complain. And here's another wee look at this monstrous cupboard. There we go. We are on. Knee leaks. We're going to give it a wee whirl, get all the tools out of the shower area now. Happy days. I'm buzzing about that, right? Because I wasn't too sure it was going to work. Set the regulator on, get the knobs on, look at that, whammo, make sure it's gone hot, make sure it's gone cold, because the last thing you want to do, put it all together, and <laughs> it doesn't work. So, here we go. I'll be honest, see when I was sitting in that shower tray, the shower tray was flexing like mad, I know I'm a chunky boy, but the shower area was flexing like mad. So we're going to get a whirl, make sure the head doesn't come on and soak me like I did later on. No leaks, shower's working, I've only turned it on a wee bit because I was frightened to turn it on full pelt. So we'll give it a wee whirl full pelt, and as you can see, the heat is firing out of it, the glass is starting to steam up, I'm happy with that. So it's time to put it all together, clean the silicon off the old shower bit. So right now I'm just putting it back together, screwing the little centre pieces through the shower which hold it in place. I've put a bit of silicon round the, the left side, right side and top side. Always leave the bottom side open so if water gets in it can run out. Because what I'll do is I'll bust the silicon at all ends and you'll end up getting water actually in behind the walls. And then it's just time to get that on, wipe off the excess silicon around and get the little knobs on and give it its final test. I will not lie, I'm absolutely super chuffed with this because I was really, I didn't have much hope once I started this job. You know what it's like, unbranded stuff, nightmare. Fraser, how does your POVs work? It's because I stick my phone in my mouth. Yep, that's right. My phone in my mouth, very hygienic, isn't it? But Ken, you've got to film one way or another. So if anybody's wanting to film, just go use the customer's towel to make sure it's all nice and buffed up and that's pretty much it if you enjoyed the video give it a wee like uh, leave a comment what you think subscribe and i'll see you in the next video because i'm actually really loving doing these longer videos